Hi, I'm Bernie Slaven and you're watching Butler Sports TV. Tonight we're here at Brinkburn Road for this EBAC Northern League Division 2 match between Darlington RA and South Shields. With ticket prices in the news this week, it's refreshing to see that you can watch this match for just £5. There couldn't be a bigger contrast in the clubs tonight. South Shields are one of the richest teams in the league and of course have ex-Middlesbrough and Sunderland player Julio Arca on their books. Whereas Darlington RA on the other hand have probably the smallest budget in the league and battle every year just to survive. South Shields arrive here with a six point lead at the top of the table knowing that a win tonight would put them in a very strong position to win the league. RA on the other hand are looking to try and get back in the promotion race having slipped away since Christmas. So this is the EBAC Northern League Division 2 match between Darlington RA and South Shields from Brinkburn Road. So this is your team news for the Arts game. As you can see, Julio Arker is starting in midfield for South Shields, just ahead of a suspension, which I believe starts at the weekend. And the RA team is um, the team that's been playing over the last few weeks, although they've got Christian Holiday back on the bench tonight.
So it's finished here at Brinkburn Road, Darlington RA 1, South Shields 3. A fully deserved victory in the end for South Shields, although the RA did finish the game strongly, um, but they just left themselves too much to do. South Shields now move 9 points clear at the top of the table as they close in on the title. Stay tuned now for reaction from both managers to come. So Gary, how satisfied are you with the result there tonight? Yeah, great three points, Dan. Um, it's always a tough place to come uh, down here on a Tuesday night. And the pitch wasn't very good. Uh, it's like a playoff field, to be honest. But you've got to come to places like this. And uh, we're putting a, a good performance and come away with the three points, which is the main thing. And important to get a good early start like that, a good early goal. Yeah, we asked the players to get out the, get out the traps quickly, which they did. Um, and we need to press high on a pitch like that. Again, the lads did. I thought we took the foot off the pedal for the, for the uh, last 20 minutes of the first half. Um, but all in all, very pleased. And second half, you put your foot on the gas again there, didn't you, straight away? Yeah, we asked the players at half time to just step it up a little bit, uh, which they did. And I thought at times we played some good stuff, like I said, in tricky, in tricky conditions. You know, on night out, this is all about just getting three points, getting out of there, getting the three points on the bag, really? Yeah, well, we said before the game it wasn't going to be pretty. Um, we just need to make sure we, we worked hard, matched them for that, uh, and what, what bit of quality will come through, which it did tonight. How would you assess the team's performance tonight? I thought we, in patches, I thought we were excellent. I thought we've worked our socks off. Um, for a team that, I'm not paving poverty, but for a team that hasn't got no money up against the money men in the Northern League, I thought it was quite a close game, to be honest. We give an early goal away in the first half, early goal in the second half, and apart from that, I didn't think there was much in it. Did you think you maybe gave a little bit too much respect at the start? No, we asked we asked for not a giveaway an early goal, and the lads just nicked in between two of our lads and squared the ball, which I probably think we should have been putting a tackle in, but we didn't, and we got punished for it. Second, second half, we got hit with an early goal, but it was just a mistake, a miss it clearance straight to their man. Um, like I say, apart from that, I thought we battled hard, we worked hard, and I, I thought we've created a few scrambles at the end, and we've given it a good shot. I mean, your substitution seems to make a difference, didn't they, at the end? Yeah, well, two of the lads have come on, uh, have just come back, so basically they couldn't start, but they're pushing for a start now. We've got a big squad and there's lads who will come in and, and improve us, and if they'd been here week in, week out, they probably would have started. It was a shame that you got the goal just after they got the third one. If it had been just before 2-1, yeah. it might have been a different Well, I, I, to be honest, I fancied as if we could have held out and kept it 1-0 for 20, 25 minutes of the second half. I thought we would nick some it. Um, we're always going to score goals. We've, we've got that many attacking options, but um, yeah, it was a bad time to concede the second and the third, really. But the lads showed a good response, and I, I can't ask for any more of them tonight.